This is why fraternities and sororities are a cult. They beat you up to join. They break you down by hazing and pledging and brainwash you through your oaths and chants you have to say. There's a weird relationship between brotherhood and sisterhood and pain and suffering. And that's witchcraft and demonic. You can't talk about anything inside the group to outsiders. If outsiders question anything about the group, you get defensive and angry and even violent. And last, if you try to leave a sorority or fraternity, they disassociate from you as if you do not exist, putting you into exile, just like other cults, like Mormons and Jehovah Witness and Black Hebrew Israelites. So this is why Christians can't be in fraternities and sororities. You can't be Christian and be Greek because to join, you have to say oaths and pledges. And this goes against the book of Matthew, chapter five, verse 37. But let your communication be yes and yes and no and no. But whatsoever is more than these cometh from evil or the evil one, the devil is sin. But if I'm wrong, try to join and just say like, hey, I'm Christian. We're not allowed to swear or make pledges or make oaths. Can I still join? They're not going to let you join. Matthew 5 and 33. And again, ye have heard that it has been said by them of old, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shalt perform unto the Lord your oaths. But I say unto you not to swear at all, neither by heaven because it is the throne of God, nor by the earth because it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst make a hair white or black. So right there, no chants, no repetitions, no oaths, no swearing, no mantras, nothing. Next, you're a Christian. You can't be in Greek organizations because there is no God outside of the God of the Bible. Look up their songs, their mantras, their repetitions, their oaths, their pledges, their art, their symbols, they are all tied back to Greek mythology. It goes in direct contradiction with your faith. Isaiah 45 and five, I am the Lord, there is none else. There is no God besides me. I gurge thou, thou hast not known me. God is a jealous God. Listen to the chants, the songs, the arts, the symbols of the organization. And if they mention anything of a other belief other than a Christian belief, it conflicts with who you are as a believer because you cannot take of the cup of devils and of the table of God. And you have to pledge an unhealthy allegiance to people and to the organization. But God says you will have no other God besides me. I don't bow. I don't bow to a man. I don't bow to an organization. I bow to God only. And the last one, the Bible says you can't be Greek. And this comes from Galatians 3 and 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Now that last one was a joke. I know y'all are being mad because y'all idolatry and me tearing down your idols. So I just had to make a little playful joke right there. <laughs> but seriously, you can have no other higher identity than who you are in Christ as a believer, as a disciple, as a follower of Jesus Christ alone, no other gods. And there is no opportunity or organization that I can't get in the kingdom of God outside of prayer. Anything I need, my father in heaven will give it to me. I don't need no person or an organization. But on a serious note, if you are in a fraternity or a sorority and you have done any of the pledging, the hazing, any of the rituals, anything that you have to recite out of your mouth, I'm very serious. Most likely you have a demon, but it's very easy to cast out a demon. But if you lay hands on yourself and command with a loud voice in the name of Jesus, I renounce all fraternities, all sororities, all commands, all rituals, and in the name of Jesus, I command every devil out of me now, they'll leave. <laughs> Thanks for watching.